no, it doesn't have a high pay MC, you know. Okay. What about a Durani AC? Durani AC? Well, like, really? Yeah, I mean, like, look yeah. at the pebbles. Guys, I mean, guys, okay. let's just yeah, go see if there's anything in the herbarium. Okay. All right, let's go. Miss Frizzle! Miss oh, Good morning, class! Seems like I've fallen asleep. I was looking for examples of the Papa Verci family all night, but I couldn't find any. Papa what? The Papa Verci family? It's the Poppy family. And what are some key characteristics of this family? Um, yeah, Miss Frizzle, I don't really know. Just petals? As my great uncle Will used to say, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. <laughs> that means back to the classroom. The Papa Bear State family is a very diverse family that grows within the northern hemisphere. It is made up of three separate subfamilies. Has anyone eaten a poppy seed muffin before? I just did for breakfast. What, what do you know? You ate a Papa Verci seed. These special flowers also form capsule seeds that produce latex, which is made for medicine for people who are hurt. Wait. Yes! You never would have expected something from such a beautiful flower, would you? Are you riding? Uh, please let this be a normal field trip. So I guess the Stevens would be there. And is this the calyx then? No, the calyx is podaceous, which means that it's shed in early flower development. That's so small. How will I get anything good for my notes? Oh, how indeed, Julia. Did she say something? Hold on to your staples, kids. Thus, do your stuff. Oh, I'm going oh. Actually, now let's go check out that stamen. Oh, there go my allergies. Uh, <laughs> Look at wow. this one. It's so pretty. You can see the stigma is flattened into a disc. Yeah. And there's a nest of stamen around it. So it must be a bisexual flower. But this one's so bright, I can hardly tell the difference. Oh, look well, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, now I can see the difference between the petals and the <laughs> sepals. Not all flowers have sepals, though. Remember, they're caudaceous or not persistent. So they're there while the flower is developing, and then they fall off. Okay. And according to my research, they can be either be polysepalous or gamosepalous, which means they can be fused or distinct. Oh, okay. Well, let's go over here. Totally. Wow, uh, those sepals sure are hairy. Yes, the poppy family isn't always in need of a haircut. <laughs> I'd say. Ms. Frizzle, are we being supported <coughs> by a pedestal right now? Actually, we're being supported by a peduncle. The poppy family does grow solitary, but it can grow aggregated, in which case it would have a sign or a receive. And in that case, we would have a pedestal. Mm. At my old school, we were never supported by a peduncle. <coughs> Is that a superior ovary? Yes, Julia, very good. It is a superior ovary, which eventually will turn into a capsule. Oh, he's not looking <laughs> like he's feeling so good. No, he's not. Yeah, I think I'm we need to get guys. back. Okay. I'm not good, guys. We gotta go. Ugh. Now that we've revived Evan, what were some things you noticed about the poppies today? You can even see. I know they have plastic ones. They have ca caduceous calyxes, and they're solitary. Very impressive, class. Looks like you're all set for tomorrow's test. Wait, what? There's a test tomorrow? I don't want to go to In summary, the Papaveraceae family is made up of three subfamilies, Papaveroideae, Hypercoideae, and Fuminoideae. They are grown in the northern hemisphere, and the closest plant family is the Asteraceae family, or the dandelions. The latex from poppies can be used for medical purposes. Fully developed poppies do not have sepals, displaying a caducus trait. Poppies often grow solitary in a cyme bunch or raceme group. Poppies develop perfect flowers with superior ovaries, leaves usually alternate and pinnately veined.